childhood cancers. I am aware. Days are cold and the cards all fold and the saints we see are all made of gold. Your dreams all fail and the ones we hail, the worst of all and the bloods run stale. I want to hide the truth, I want to shelter you. But with the beast inside, there's nowhere we can hide. No matter what we breed, we still are made of greed. This is my kingdom come, this is my kingdom come. When you feel my heat, look into my eyes. It's where my demons hide, it's where my demons hide. Don't get too close, it's dark inside It's where my demons hide, it's where my demons hide The curtains call us the last of all The lights fade out all the sin right now, I would crawl. like to introduce the liberal MP for the Vancouver for Quadrant, Master Joyce Master Murray, our member of parliament, to say the <laughs> Well, thank you, Brooke, for that introduction. And uh, just want to welcome everyone on behalf of the Parliament of Canada. I'm the Liberal Member of Parliament for the West Side, which is Vancouver Quadra, and also the Liberal Party of Canada's critic or advocate uh, for national defense. And you are doing here is raising awareness of the importance of childhood cancers and the need to raise that awareness more broadly right across the country so action is taken. So thank you for coming out on a beautiful afternoon to support this initiative. Uh, and I, I, once again, I want to congratulate those that uh, put this initiative forward. And uh, my heart is with all parents and grandparents who are supporting a child with cancer. Thank you. How challenging it is for parents to support their children because the resources aren't there uh, because our, our, our governments uh, aren't aware enough or the public isn't aware enough of the need that uh, exists out there. Uh, personally, I, I, cancer has touched my life. My wife has cancer. She's, uh, she's, uh, it's metastasized and she's, she's undergoing treatment, uh, drug treatment right now. So it's very hard to talk about, but I just want to share, uh, I know that I, I share with you the challenge that uh, children face. This, uh, this is such a good event because we are in a public place that uh, we hope brings people in from the, from the Chaplain Barrow and the craft beer place after they finish their meals and understand and learn about this very challenging issue. Uh, the money that is raised through, whether it's the Ride to Conquer Cancer, and thank you Team Finn for being here, uh, to, for research is so important and the, the support that all these organizations provide to the families uh, that currently have uh, children that are undergoing this uh, very hard time is tremendous. But it's also about all the people that will be touched with cancer in, that are still to come. Without the, the money and the research and the efforts of people that you find in these tents, and people like you, um, the people uh, that find themselves touched by cancer would not have the support to have that little extra time. And, and that's exactly what's happened for me. Um, we're lucky that there's a drug treatment and that's kept my wife alive now for three years. And I hope that's the, the case for many of the, the families and the children that are currently suffering or perhaps may come at a later date. So I, I want to express on, on, on behalf of our mayor and all of council how we, what we understand that we have to do more, we must do more, government has to do more, and we appreciate uh, all of you doing your part as well. So uh, now to the proclamation. 
Whereas the BC Gold Ribbon Campaign aims to bring greater awareness to the issues facing children and their families as they struggle to navigate a childhood cancer diagnosis. And whereas approximately 135 BC children are diagnosed with cancer every year, yet little is known about their suffering, their fight to survive, and their determination to go on. And whereas every child deserves the chance to grow up, to grow old, to be strong, to wear a princess dress, I just added that. <laughs> to be healthy, not be sarcastic, uh, uh, not be a statistic, but rather a child, and whereas childhood cancer is not rare, yet it is rarely talked about, and whereas BC Ribbon Campaign is determined to give these children uh, a voice to make a change, to make you aware. Now therefore, I, Raymond Louis, on behalf of our Mayor Gregor Robertson of the City of Vancouver, do hereby proclaim the month of September as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month uh, under the signature of the Mayor Gregor Robertson. Thank you, everyone. Aiden Chin and I am one of the 130 kids approximately diagnosed each year with childhood cancer. I was 11 years old when I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Hi, my name is Adam. When I was nine years old, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hi, my name is Claire and when I was five years old, I got diagnosed with leukemia. I had a when I was 10, I was leukemia. Hi, my name is Colleen, and my son is Jack, and um, I'm a survivor. Um, I was diagnosed at 10 weeks old with brain tumor, and Jack is a survivor. He was diagnosed at 22 weeks uh, of the same brain tumor. This is Lena, and Lena was diagnosed at six weeks with neuroblastoma, and she is in remission currently and happy and healthy. Hi, my name is Jaden, and when I was six uh, six years old, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Uh, hi, I'm Hunter. I was diagnosed at age 12 with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hi, my son Finn was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma at the age of 21 months and died at the age of three. Um, but Finn uh, should be remembered for living and running, jumping, bouncing, dancing, singing, smiling, and riding. So. Thank you. My name's Sean. I'm a, um, uh, I, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor of cancer when I was four years old. I'm Mary Putt. Um, my granddaughter Lily Jean died in September of glioblastoma multiforme. She was 10 months old when she was diagnosed, so she left for almost two years with that cancer. She went through many chemo treatments. She had two surgeries. And, um, and through awareness like this, I hope that that somehow someone's going to take note and use these research monies to come up with different kinds of treatments and come up with a cure for childhood cancers of any kind. through my head was, my son has cancer, cancer. Before that day, I didn't know any parents whose child had cancer. We were told she had a mass on her left lung. What are you talking about? She's got pneumonia. This isn't what we came here for. Does she have cancer? And she said, I think she does, yes. We believe it's cancer. From that moment on, our lives changed. No parent ever wants to hear the words, your child has cancer. And nobody ever asked these children if they were up for it. The very best care and to continue to do cutting edge research. But also, importantly, is to find the cure. But let's stand even taller for the children who are diagnosed with cancer. Because they show us the true meaning of strength. They keep us humble. They show us our humanity. And they teach us to make every moment count.
Uh, I was diagnosed when I was 17, and you heard my mom's story. Um, and it was scary, and it's sad, and it's just, it's, there's no words to describe how awful this is. And for me to go out, to stand in that hospital room and to meet kids who are just smiling and playing and having fun to see young children who don't know any better, suffering, crying, and sick. We don't want to see that anymore and we need to raise awareness because this doesn't just happen to adults, it happens to kids. And there's no reason why it happens to kids, it just does. And we need to bring that to light and we need to let you all know that we're here and we're ready to, for a future. And when you are here supporting kids who are going through treatment, you're supporting their futures and you're supporting all of their dreams. Dreams for a cure and dreams for no more pain, no more suffering, no more treatment. Hi. On behalf of myself, Tina Chin, Larissa, Th Larissa Thomas, and the BC Gold Ribbon Campaign, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our amazing MC, Brooke, Brooke Malikoff. Yeah, Brooke! <laughs> and our stage manager, Tina Jin. Thank you. Thank you to the doctors, nurses, social workers, child life specialists, all the oncology staff and supporters at BC Children's Hospital for all your hard work and dedication to our kids. We would also like to take this opportunity to say a very special thank you to all the oncology families that allowed us to share the photos and stories of their beautiful and brave children in our gallery. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are sure many of you would like to learn more about the various organizations that you see down here today. If you would like, please log on to our website and we will have connections to those organizations. At approximately 6.30 this evening, Science World will light up in gold to honor all of BC's cancer warriors and angels. Then at about approximately 7.30, BC Place Stadium will also light up in gold to honor all of BC's cancer warriors and angels. Please feel free to continue to mingle until that time. Once again, thank you to everyone that came out to, us to support our event to raise childhood cancer awareness. Thank you. Last of all, the lights fade out, all the sinners crawl. They dug your grave in the masquerade. Come calling out of the mess you've made. I don't want to let you down, but I am hellbound. Oh, this is all for you. I don't want to hide the truth No matter what we breed We still are made of greed This is my kingdom come This is my kingdom come When you feel my heat Look into my eyes It's where my demons hide It's where my demons hide Don't get too close Dark inside, it's where my demons hide, it's where my demons hide. They say it's what you make, I say it's up to fate, it's woven in my soul. I need to let you go, your eyes they shine so bright, I want to save that light. I can't escape this now, 
unless you show me how. When you feel my heat, look into my eyes. It's where my demons hide. It's where my demons hide. Don't get too close. It's dark inside. No more pain, no more suffering, no more treatment.